Hello everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to take apart and spray paint the ducky pocket. So I've already spray painted mine, but there's a little bit, there's one part that I need to redo that I, that I sort of messed up on. And so I'm just going to show how to disassemble it and per se, how you want to spray paint it. So there are a few things that you will be needing for this, a few, a few tools. So for starters, you will need something to remove the keycaps. You can technically do this with your hands, but I have a tool here. You will need a screwdriver. There are technically six screws in total that you will need to unscrew. They are very small. You need a, I don't know what the term is, is it Phillips head? The one that has like the four parts to it, it looks like a uh, plus sign. You will need a screwdriver for that, and it needs to be fairly small. So you want a precise screwdriver. I don't know what the correct term is, but a fairly small screwdriver. You will need a tool to get in between the pocket. So on the back, you need to have a tool to get in between here, basically. And so you can use things like a tar pick, but I'm going to be using this tool here. This is actually part of the uh, iFixit Pro Toolkit. So that's where I got this from in case you're, anyone is curious. I will say it's, it's a good cool toolkit. It also would have a sc screwdriver that would uh, work with this as well. But long story short, you need something to get, something small that can, or thin that will get in between there. You will need sandpaper. This is if you want to spray paint it. Uh, you need to sand down the surface, like basically all the surfaces that you will be painting. You need to sand it down a little bit. And then finally, you probably want some tape. And the reason for this is that if you want this area down here to not get painted, then you need to tape this up before you go and spray paint it. Oh, last but not least, well, I think I already said that, but of course, spray paint. So this is just some stuff that I got from Walmart Krylon is what this one is. Uh, this is a paint and primer. That's another thing. You do need a primer, but this one does both of it. So, yeah. So this is one I used. It worked well. I, I've already had this thing spray painted for like a few months now, and it hasn't worn out or anything, but I just want to fix it up and make it look good. So, again, this is the spray paint that I used. You will also need some sort of surface, some place to spray paint this on. Of course, if you do this outside, then you know, hip hip right, you already have something, but you just need an area to spray paint this. Long story short, also, I have to give a quick little shout out. Someone on Reddit basically put a post showing how to do this, and basically, this is why I used as like the instructions uh, from Reddit user Lunit12. So, I gotta give a quick little shout out to him for helping me out or showing me how to do this correctly. So, shout out there. All right, so let's get this started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is remove the keycaps. Now, you could technically just go straight to trying it in between, but to make our lives easy, I will remove the keycaps first. Uh, this will probably be sped up because I don't think you really need to see the whole thing. All right, so here is the ducky pocket taken apart. As you can see, I have blue switches, but it doesn't really make a difference. I also will say, most likely, if you have a battery inside this, you probably want to take it out. You don't need to, but probably want to. All right, so now that this is done, now we're going to go and take, take the tool that gets in between here, and we're going to basically pry this part off from this part. Now, there's three sort of connection points on the side here. Of course, you can't see it because it's inside of the pocket. It's about right here, here, and here, and it's on the same side here, here, and here. There's nothing on the top or bottom. Uh, I'll probably attach a picture showing what I am talking about. So again, what we're going to do, either, again, if you have a tool like this, you could probably use a flathead screwdriver, but you wanna take a tool like this and get in between Try to pry in between 
the two parts and sort of just wedge in them apart if you can and then do something sort of similar to this. Be a little bit careful, of course. I uh, don't want to break anything, but you have to pry in between the two to do. You might need to, per se, use your fingers as well to, there you go. So I just put my finger you know, on the thing and I just pried it off like here. So and now I'm just going to pull the two apart. And I'm going to use my tool real quick and I'm just going to use it to get in between here. And I'm just going to pull them apart carefully, but still with some force. And it's a little bit difficult to do. There we go. So as you see, there's the three connection points. And again, it's the same thing on this side as well. Also, do not worry if you like scratch up, scratch up this area right here, it's going to be covered up and plus you're going to spray paint over it or maybe you're not. But don't worry if you get this part scratched up, it's going to be covered up. Uh, again though, we're going to see if we can do the same, well, we had to do the same thing on this side as well. There we go. Okay, one, uh, nope, came off. Oof, come on. There we go. And one more. Don't want to break it. There we go. Jeez. Again, it's going to be probably a little bit difficult, but again, just try your best. So again, you're going to have two parts, just like this. Again, there you go. All right, so we're done with this at the moment. All right, and we no longer need our prying apart tool. So here's basically everything, right? Now, if you look carefully, you're going to notice that there, well, you should have yours as well. There are four screws, one, again, difficult to see, sorry, but there's one right here, 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 and here. And again, they are quite small, so you're gonna need a very uh, pointy, I don't know how else to put it. Very precise screwdriver to unscrew them. So you just want to get in and unscrew them. All right, so now, so we're unscrewed them. So now what should happen is this part is just going to fall off, okay? Now, you also have down here, sorry, I can't see it very well, sorry. This is where the um, battery connects onto. There are two screws right here and here. You probably want to go and, if you're going to spray paint the back of it, then you need to go and unscrew those as well. Now, I will be honest, mine, I've already spray painted this part. Well, all I need to spray paint off is just this edge over here. So for me, I am not going to bother with that. But if you do go, if you are going to go and do this, again, make sure that you're to keep the wire. Sorry, you can't see it. Make sure to keep the wire good. You know, make sure that you don't, you know, stress them apart or else, yeah. Now on the back, real quick, you should, unless yours is messed up like mine, you're going to have these four rubber feet. There should be two right here as well. Uh, you probably want to remove those because they're going to either get painted over or... You know, it's just not going to really look the best. Um, I would say remove them and then just get some glue and then glue them back on. That's what I did with mine, but unfortunately I lost these two down here. Um, again, also, you're going to need some tape. Get some tape and then tape this bottom part down here so that you still have that nice, I don't know, it's like that identification number, I guess, you know. Uh, third thing is that you probably want to remove the, like, I don't know what you want to call this, the the um prop i guess you could say the prop all you need to do is just get like you know a finger or again a screwdriver in between here and just pinch these things together and then you just pull it off um let's go see if i could try to do it you just gotta pull it boom so you just pull it off you know and then you can spray paint this uh sorry spray paint this yourself keep forgetting to keep on keep it in the camera but there you go so those are the things that you gotta do for that now before you even paint it though, 
you have to make sure to sand it off and so you would need to get some sandpaper and take the components and you would literally just you know brush it off you're not trying to literally sand it down like really hard you're just trying to sand it off you know so that it's just strapped it's sort of scratched up really the reason you do this is that you want the paint to per se stick onto the uh, product and that's how you do it you sand it down so again assuming that you have now sanded down your product to this point that it has visible scratches on it you are now ready to spray paint it so again mine is already sanded down and i'm just doing a little bit more spray paint on mine so yeah you spray paint the thing to note is that you don't want to hold it on one spot and say do it like this maybe you've seen in like movies the kids like you know spray painting a wall or like you know putting graffiti on a wall and they're like you know doing it like you don't want to do that that's not what you're going to do here all you're really going to do is just do coats and you're just going to per se just do just like that you're just just little short bursts you know in the area and so and you're not going to do it like so for instance let's just say that i've you know i'm doing this area you know you're not going to do you're not going to do you know like 10 at a time you really just want to do like one two three do one side one two three do another side one two you know do that you know on each side and then like i would say like wait a few wait like a minute or two and then do it again one two three so here we go and again i'll, I'll even just quickly show over on the side here all right so all you're gonna do is just just like that all right here we go one two three so i'm just little just one two three and then go to the other side over here Okay, and then go to the other side. All right. Now, if you have gloves, I recommend using gloves. I'm just gonna touch this area that I know I did not get. Flip over. You know, and that's another thing. I'm, I'm trying my best not to get it onto the paint. Okay. I'm gonna do this side real quick. Okay. And so now, all I'm doing, I'm just doing those three sides. So I'm just going to wait. I'm looking at it, and I already see that there's still a little bit more left on it. Yeah, so there's a, there's a little bit more that I need to do. So I'm just going to uh, wait a minute or so. All right, so I say it's ready to go again. And so I'm just going to do the same exact thing. What you can honestly do is, you know, because I... Sorry, because you, if you're doing this from scratch, you have multiple parts to do. You could probably just do all the parts and you just do it again over and over and you'll probably be good. So, yeah. All right. So we're going to do it again. All right. That's one side. I'm just quickly moving to the other. All right. All right. One more time. Well, yes, one more, one more time. All right, there we go. All right, so we are now back over here. And now we're basically just going to do things in the opposite direction. So I'm going to assume that your thing has dried up now. So if you had any paint, or sorry, if you had any, um, you know, tape over here, take the paint, tape off. You know, have some glue, put your little uh, rubber stoppers back on. You have the thing out, put the thing back in. It should be fairly easy. Just say, just want to make sure that it's in focus. Just say, click it back in. Boom. Might be a little bit, uh, what's the word? Might not be very, oh, there we go. That's what it's supposed to be. Rough, per se. Mine's not really the best, but I don't really put it up like that. So, again, so from the scratch or from the start, again, Assume that you take taking this thing out, take the screws, put the screws back in, make sure it's aligned up. Next, we're gonna take the screws and put it back into the four. Sorry, we're gonna put it back into the four locations here. We'll do that real quick. All 
there we go. So now it is screwed in, it is not gonna come out anymore. Great, the back plate is now dry. Again, I would definitely recommend make sure that this, that whatever you're using dries up because you don't wanna pick it up and then, you know, your fingers are now full of paint and your, your thing is now messed up. So again, already screwed back in the screws. Again, that's fairly straightforward. Now all we're gonna do, take the front plate, take the full thing here, and you're just gonna put them together and you won't have to push them in. And you want them to, per se, snap into place. It might be a little bit rough because there's now a layer of paint around it, making it a bit thicker, and so it might not you know, snap in super easily the first time around. But at that point, that's basically the main thing. And now all you need to do is just put back on your keycaps over here. And if everything went correctly, if unless you completely messed it up, you should now have a spray painted ducky pocket. So I'm just going to quickly do this. Again, nothing difficult. There we go. And so as you can see, my ducky pocket is now done. The edge that was, excuse me, sorry. The edge that was messed up is now per se fixed. Hip hip hooray. And it's now good. Hooray. So that's the video. So thank you for watching. Hope that that you know, helped anyone else out that wanted to do this. And yeah.